Welcome to Agape Kids Church. You are tuned into our total kids worship service. Our lesson for today is titled, The Story of Jacob and Esau, and will be led by ministers Tati and Savelle. All my Agape Kids, get ready, get set, and let's go learn how to love like Him. Good morning, at Kids. I'm Minister Tati. And I'm Minister Savelle, and you are tuned into Agape Kids Total Worship Service. We are super excited to be teaching you today, and I know you heard a good word last week from who? Ministers Kim and Kyle. Yep. I think I know them. I think I think so. Yeah. I think I know yeah, them. Yeah. He might be my brother or something. Or something like that, right? Okay. Yeah. okay. Before we get into service, let's go ahead and bow our heads and close our eyes to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the service today. We pray that as we listen to this message, it impresses on our hearts what we are to do and how we are to love and honor our brothers and sisters. We thank you for what you're doing, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so today's lesson. Today's lesson. Today's okay. lesson. It's What's okay. about? What's it's about? Okay. Well, so today's lesson is about two brothers. And I know... Last week, you guys heard about 12 brothers, Joseph and his brothers oh, from Ministers Kim and Kyle. But today, we're just going to talk about two, mm -hmm. which which is a lot easier to yes. explain. <laughs> so the two brothers we're going to talk about today is Jacob and Esau. Yeah. But before, I want to know, do you guys know your memory verse for the month? Yes! Where does it come from? It comes from Romans 12 and 10. Yes. And it's... Honor one another above yourselves. Ooh. Do we have to do that one more time? I think we should do it just mm -hmm. one more time. Okay. All right. So Romans 12, 10. Honor others yeah. above yourselves. Yeah. And the bottom line. Can you remember what that is? What is it? Honor your brothers and sisters above yourself. All of them? All of them. Okay. Oh, wait. So I, I'll say it this time. Honor your brothers and sisters above yes. yourself. Okay. I know, that's a lot. So, yeah, I know. That's hard. Some of us have a lot of siblings. Yeah. Like, all of them. Oh, my oh, goodness. Like, you know, but, you know, God says all of them. Oh, Every God. single one. The younger, the older, the same age one. <laughs> all that. So, like she said, our lesson is coming from the story of Jacob and Esau, which is from... What? What chapter? Uh, Genesis twenty-five through twenty-seven. Yeah, like chapters twenty-five to twenty-seven. Lots, but lots of we're gonna give you the <laughs> Minister Tati, Minister Savell version. But I want you to go and read some of it, okay? So, Jacob and Esau. Mm -hmm. Jacob and Esau were twin brothers. But they didn't get along. <gasps> what? Like at all? Twins? They don't get along? What is I know. That? They didn't get along. Like, and even they started fighting before they were born. No way. Yeah. And then when they were born, Esau came out first, but Jacob, he had a hold of his heel. Oh, and he what? was coming with them. He did not want him to leave because they were fighting in there. Whew. They even looked different. What did Esau look like? So Esau came out really hairy. Like, really like, hairy. Really hairy. It looked hairy. like he was wearing clothes. It looked like he had clothes on and his hair was red. Bright red. Bright red. Just bright red. Just bright hair red. all of his hairy arms. Hairy man. In his Ooh. legs. In his mm -hmm. head. In his chest. He was just really hairy. Yep. And Jacob, his skin was silky smooth. Nice. Silky smooth. And like, they didn't even look alike when they were born, but they grew up to be even different. <gasps> Esau uh -oh. loved hunting. He loved to be outside, enjoy nature. And his dad, Isaac, he loved to eat meat. So, Esau was his favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Jacob was more of an inside guy, more quiet. And so he was their mom, Rebecca's favorite. Yep. Now, the Bible doesn't talk much about them when they were younger, but we do know that Esau is lucky to have been born first because he has something called the birthright. <gasps> the birthright. Which means because he's technically older, even though they're twins, he will be in charge when the time comes, in charge of their whole family and everything. So the land they have, the house, the money, like all of it. Oh he will be in charge. And not Jacob. Jacob gets nothing from being born. 
dang it, I know. But Esau did a thing. Oh, what did he do? Esau wasn't really fond of having the birthright, so he gave it up. For and then he gave it up for what? Stew. So he came home. He was out hunting, like we just said. He loves hunting. He was super hungry, and he came home, and Jacob had made really good stew. And he was like, Jacob, give me a bowl. And Jacob was like, well, first, sell me your birthright. Like, give it to me. And Esau said yes. So uh, that's like oh, spending man. $1 million for some food. For like a bowl of cereal. Mm. Mm. Like, a million dollars for bowl of cereal. That's basically what Esau did. So he gave it up. And he's going to regret that later. Oh, yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. So, a little while goes past, and their dad Isaac gets sick. Oh, mm -hmm. Poor Isaac gets yeah, really yeah. sick. So he tells Esau to go hunting. So he can come back and make him a really yummy, yummy, yummy dinner. Yes. But... Rebecca, their mom, overheard the conversation between Isaac and Esau. Uh oh. So she ran to Jacob. She's like, Jacob, I'm gonna go and make this grand meal, and you're gonna take it to your father to receive the blessing that he wants to give Esau. That's sneaky. That's really sneaky. That's sneaky, don't you guys mean? That's super sneaky. Mm, 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 mm. But there is a problem. Uh oh. Remember, Esau's super hairy. And Jacob's not. It's, yeah. <laughs> and they said that there was a certain smell to Esau, which is a nice way to say that he's, he's like, he's, he's stinky. He's, he's, not. he's stinky. <laughs> but like, imagine, you're always sweating, you're out yeah, hunting, yeah. getting animal blood. Ew. 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 He's stinky. Ew. 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 So. So, Rebecca told Jacob to go get sheepskin right yep sheepskin sheepskin and put it on his arms yep because you know they have like wool and it feels yeah, all hairy and stuff all thin, yep yep and then she told him to go get his brother's shirt one mm -hmm. of his smelly stinky Ooh. shirts and put it on yeah so if their dad isaac touched him or smelled him he would think it's esau because isaac's blind so he can't see them but he knows which son is which because Esau's hairy and stinky and Jacob's Jacob smooth and doesn't and stink. Doesn't stink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rebecca made the meal and made it really yummy and gave it to Jacob. And Jacob, you know, went with the sheepskin on and put the shirt on and he went in and gave his father the meal. And Isaac gave the blessing that was for Esau, gave the blessing to Jacob. And they did all this while Esau was still hunting for food. Mm -hmm. So Esau's out doing work and you know, he's getting that meat. He's so excited to come home. Yeah. But when he does. Oh, but when he does, what happened? he finds out Jacob stole his his birthright, his blessing. Yeah. Which I mean technically he gave it to him in the beginning. But, but he was excited right. to get it back. Yeah, yeah. still doesn't make it right. Make it right. So he finds right. out that Jacob stole his blessing. And he was really, really angry. Like, so angry, he threatened to kill his brother. <gasps> Which meant Jacob, Rebecca told Jacob to run away. Run, 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 run. So he grabbed what he could, and he ran, and he didn't come back. But while he ran away, you know how he did a bad thing, and, like, the blessing wasn't supposed to be his, and I think God still blessed his life. So when he grew, he grew up, and he was out, God covered him and blessed his life and you know even though like it wasn't supposed to be his blessing so what we wanted you to get from this is that you know we're talking about honoring your brother and sister yes. right yes so like you're not supposed to do things like that like sneaky things like Jacob did because it's not nice yeah but we have to remember that sometimes we slip up, right? Yeah. Like sometimes we say mean things or we do something we're not supposed to do or we lie. Mm -hmm. Maybe we get our brother or sister in trouble when they really didn't do anything. Yeah. We steal their toys. All those things. Like sometimes we do it. And even though we weren't supposed to, God's not going to just let you go. Mm -hmm. He's going to forgive you and he's going to cover you and let you know that just because you did one bad thing doesn't make you a bad person. Mm -mm. 
God is a forgiving God, like Minister Savelle said. He's always going to love us, no matter how many times we mess up. Not saying we should keep messing up, Mm-mm. but no matter how many times we mess up, no matter, how, no matter how many times we're maybe mean to our siblings, or we do something that might hurt our siblings' feelings, or anyone's feelings at that, mm-hmm. God is still, he will still forgive you. Yep. So we have to remember that, like Minister Taki says, we shouldn't keep messing up on purpose. A mess up's not on purpose. Mess ups are accidental. Like, oh, I accidentally did this and I feel so bad about it. And you go to God and you say, God, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. And he's going to forgive you. Yeah. So let's remember, we want to honor our brothers and sisters. But just because you might do something wrong doesn't make you a bad person. Okay? So let's not be sneaky like Jacob mm-hmm. and his mom, Rebecca. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's just, <laughs> let's just love each other. Just love your brothers and sisters. Love, just love them. Yep. <laughs> just love them. So guys, make sure you take away that we should honor our brothers and sisters. Honor our brothers and sisters. Yep. We should ask God for forgiveness. Ooh, that's a big one. And apologize to your <gasps> siblings and your parents when you do something wrong. Mm. Okay? Oh yeah. So we're about to close and I want to say we're so thankful to be teaching you this week and that we love you guys and we miss you so much. Give it a thumbs up and wave. If you see us out, wave to us. Say hi, I love you. Okay, so let's go ahead and close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear Lord, thank you for this service. Thank you for teaching us to honor our brothers and sisters. Lord, we ask that if we mess up, you forgive us. And you let us know that we're not a bad person just because we might have done one bad thing. We thank you for putting this word in our hearts and in our minds so we can carry it through the rest of the week. Lord, I ask that you cover us as we go throughout our week until next Sunday. It's in your son's most precious name we pray. Amen. 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 We love you guys. Bye, Atkins. We love you so much.